Nigel, what a win against world number two, Fabi. You must be absolutely delighted. Uh, yeah, ecstatic. Well, yeah, I, I think I played a really good game today. Oh, I was quite focused. And, um, you yeah, know, there was just one bit uh, in the game that I was not so sure about. I think when I had a, uh, an overwhelming position, I'm not entirely sure I should have gone for this ending. Uh, but it was good enough. Um, yeah, maybe he could set up a, a different defence. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but um, obviously I was pressing more or less the whole game. Probably a different defence, but it never seemed like the defence could be good enough in that ending. I, I, yeah, I mean, I would have to analyse it. Um, he suggested something after the game as being an improvement, but it, it didn't seemed to work as, as far as I could tell. So, yeah, uh, I, I was just on the ball today. Um, and there were, there were certain moments, I mean, the, the small things, there, were, there was a moment when I played bishop takes d5, which was so, like an anti-positional move. But um, it's, it's followed up because I'm attacking his bishop. There's some tactical reason why it's working. And then his bishop is driven into a passive position. So. There were certain things like that which you've got to be alert to. You know, Even after just, having a better position, yeah, you I, have I, to look I, at these I, I got, I got a, a, a very nice position. I, I don't know what the, th the theory is at all um, in this line. I decided to sacrifice a pawn, and he seemed very surprised, uh, surprised by this. And I think he has to take it. Uh, and instead, um, you know... I mean, he was, um, well, he was taken aback when he saw this. And he played a different option. And I, I don't think it's the sort of position that you can, you can play, um, you know, sort of bailout moves. Um, because it's, uh, maybe he misjudged it, because it looked very unpleasant uh, for him, the, uh, the opening. And then uh, he decided to sacrifice a pawn. I... I mean, it's actually a horrible decision, but I, I understood it. Uh, there was, um, I was thinking about it myself, uh, that this was, you know, maybe his best try, but it's ugly, very, very ugly. Uh, but sometimes these guys, they, they hang tough, you know, they, they uh, uh, feel that they've got great resilience and uh, he's probably waiting. They use every was, resource? Yeah, that's right, waiting for an old man to blunder later on, but it didn't come. It absolutely did not happen. Now, just going back to the opening, uh, e4, c6, the Karo Khan, it's not something that he employs usually, but we've seen Fabiano do it a couple of times. Were you expecting it today? No, I wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, I mean, my preparation was uh, basically trying to decide which my first move was going to be. So I hadn't really thought too much about what he... I, I actually expected some Sicilian, to be, to be honest. Um, you know, he plays uh, E5 as, as well quite often, but I thought he would be, you know, looking for... In an open tournament, you're, you know, without taking um, great risk you're you're looking to try and and win and not be ultra solid uh, so it's a, it's a different style from playing uh in these absolute elite events so um, you know i i don't think um uh you uh, one should blame the he got a bad opening you shouldn't blame the uh, the, the opening in itself it's it's the fact i think he just didn't respond well to the new situation i play something he was unfamiliar with and i think he uh there's very often that that there's a that phase when you go from memory to having to think for yourself and this is a very very dangerous phase for all players even for the absolute elite um, and quite often people don't get the intensity of concentration that they need when they're going from sort of routine uh, rote memory uh, to to thinking for themselves and uh, yeah I think he, d he didn't respond well and um, I got s some advantage and there were some little subtleties actually I did quite nicely, some A3, H3 as well. 
Uh, you were very pleased with the way you, you played. Were, yeah, there was there, there was some point to these these moves. Um, I, I was all sort of quite deep into the position, uh, understanding the um, uh, finesses. I think. I think. You know. Right. In fact, with Fabi, we've of often noticed that he does employ the Karakan when he wants to create an unbalanced position, trying to create chances to, of course, win with black as well sometimes, yeah. which did not go very well uh, for him today. We've seen Nikita do the same thing, employing... Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I've been playing the Karakan here in Gibraltar myself and, and have had reasonable results up to a point uh, with it. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, you can win with absolutely uh, any opening. It's, uh, it, it depends. Uh, you just don't want a symmetrical position. Then. Right, but Nigel, I have to say, you say that you were not expecting it, but you went you went with second move, knight c3, and that's also not the most topical way, and I, you would normally go e4, c6, d4 in your own games. So was that just something that you decided over the board, or something you had in mind that in case the Karakan came up, you wanted to oh, go for knight c3? Uh, look, I... I, I I've been around for a thousand years, so I've played all systems. Uh, uh, and this is, um, you know, this sort of two knight system is um, is one that I play from time to time. And uh, in fact, I beat Max Rochdane um, last year. And that's not on the database, by the way. So uh, <laughs> I, um, in this um, Checkmate TV tournament, so, that, you know, that is not... No. So I, he wouldn't have prepared. He probably wasn't expecting it to go this way. I don't know. I mean, I think he probably thought it was one of the things I could do, but I, I play various systems. Right. Now, this is, seems to be the first checking the database. It was your first win against a 2800 plus player in uh, since 1993, since your match against Gary. Yeah. Since before <laughs> your mother was born, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is not exactly correct, but yeah, it's been a while. I mean, this makes it more special, but of course, yeah. just beating the world number two is... Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, the numbers are uh, really pretty relevant to, to me, but the, the fact that it's the world number two, uh, a fantastically strong player, and I've had my chances against him Previously, I actually had a um, a uh, tragic last round a number of years ago in in uh, Vikanze in the B tournament. Yeah, can you imagine? He was playing in the B tournament. We were both there, and I I outplayed him and I was winning. And I saw a winning combination, and I somehow failed to to play it because of some oversight uh, of. Mine, actually. I couldn't count the pieces. Uh, and, you know, I lost that game quite tragically. And I, d I just sort of felt that I, um, I missed chances against him. He's, he's a very difficult guy to beat in general. So, uh, he is world number two for yeah, a reason. There, he, the, yeah, yeah, there is. Uh, and I was, uh, I was okay about it. But you, you suddenly start thinking that... You know, here's the guy who started with seven out of seven in, in St. Louis, you know, beating Carlson and everything. You know, thinking, oh my God, you know, I'm up against him here. But it's all right. And absolutely. In fact, he hasn't, he's had a pretty good run, not losing a single game in over 50 games as well. This is uh, yeah. his first loss in a really uh, long time. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, it's got to happen sometime, and I'm glad it was me. In fact, you the first one of the first people to congratulate you was none other than Gary Caspro with his tweet, so that felt uh, good as well. Yep, that's that's right. The uh, the old is uh, sticking together, so rooting for each other. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very funny. Right, and now how are you gonna celebrate or? I, I, I'm plan? actually pretty tired because it was a long game, and uh, that's all right. I don't mind being tired if I win, so uh, I think I'll have a fairly quiet uh, evening. I'll have a glass of wine, but uh, early to bed, and there are, I think there are plenty more very tough games. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, well, I, I, I need to, to catch up. Uh, yeah, I actually felt a little bit tired today, but it, it was a long game, but... I think I was just in a good place uh, psychologically. 
Right. Well, congratulations once again. Long tournament to go and we hope to have you back uh, in our studio yeah. soon. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks, Nigel.